kitchen. You could be my little helper. Go to the table and ask them, do they want the flat or the salsa? I go where I want, I'm good. Hey YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I will be doing this inspired look by Stacey Marie Moore. And I will be linking her Instagram down below for you guys. You know, putting out her information down below that I do know. Um, I'm just so excited to be back in front of this camera. I know it's been like two, three weeks. And your girl is so sorry, but I've been super busy, like, with my kids' school. And then, y'all, like, I'm not even going to cap. Your girl was really going through it, okay? Like, I was really going through it. Like, y'all, I was having, like, um, you know, I was just having, like, a lot of discouragement. Like, I was just feeling very discouraged. Like, I was just feeling down like really down and then on top of that i'm getting over like a cold or whatever yeah so i just really been going crazy for these last few weeks that's why you guys have not been seeing me on here making no videos because when i come on here i like to be in a good mood in a good spirit or try to uplift the next person you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much why i have not been recording anything for you guys and i know y'all probably looking at me like i look crazy as hell but <laughs> Your girl is just, you know, coming on here with a brows I already done to get some time out the way. Now, I'm going to try to do this uh, look that she had created. And it was so pretty, y'all. It was like pink and blues and like a double cut crease, which I have never done in my life, okay? But we're going to try to do it today, okay? We're going to try. Now, she always have bomb looks for y'all who know her. Y'all already know what it is. And for y'all who don't, like, y'all should really go check your girl out. She is, like, bomb as hell. Y'all, I'm just really in a mood where I just really want to be putting these looks out for you guys. And I'm just so sorry that I have not been filming. I hope you guys forgive me. But I am so excited that I came back. <laughs> My phone always being rude. But I'm just so excited that I came back and... I'm already at 900 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? I'm just so thankful for you guys that's still rocking with me and growing my channel. Y'all, I'm just so overwhelmed and I'm just so thankful. We finna hit 1K and I will be probably doing lives. Y'all know I always want to do my lives on here. And I'm gonna just stop talking, y'all. But, y'all probably can't see, but this is the look. And I will probably be more than likely inserting a picture, you know, for you guys to see or a video clip of hers of the look. Now, on this look, it just showed, like, her doing the eyes, like, you know, halfway. And then, yeah, on the lid, she didn't really, you know, it don't have, like, a lid color on there. So, I will be doing my own lid color or whatever, doing my own thing to my lid. But yeah, for the most part, everything else I will be doing. And I'm just so inspired by her. I just been on her um, Instagram and stuff just looking, you know, for some inspiration. I always can go to her page and just, she doing some bomb shit, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl's channel if you are new. I would love for you guys to join the squad, of course. And yeah, let's get into it. Hey y'all, once again, so I already told you guys I did my brows off camera or whatever. If you guys will want a brow tutorial, I will be more than happy to give y'all an updated brow tutorial because I have did some different things to it. But I'm just applying this Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C1 to my lid and I'm just going to blend it on out. Next, you're going to see me go in with this Milani um highlighter palette i'm not sure which one it is but yeah it has the three shades i'm gonna take that whiter gold shade and i'm gonna just go ahead and like put it under the brow so it can be like a highlight you know and i'm gonna kind of bring it downward so it can be blended into the eyeshadows i'm gonna um also go in with this gold to tone it down because you know as you can tell that shade is a little too you know that highlight is not for my skin tone i think well you know for me i don't think it is and then i'm gonna go in with this morphe 25 l palette and take that pink shade and then i'm gonna just blend that first then i'm gonna take a darker pink shade and i'm gonna blend that and then you guys want to see me go in with this juvia's place magic mini palette and i'm gonna get that dark blue shade and just blend that all together now you guys these colors was kind of hard to work with like this juvia's place like it was very patchy when I was trying to put it with this um, pink shade from the uh, Morphe, it, like, yeah, it didn't work. So I had to go in with this black to, like, darken the crease up how I wanted it. And so the look, you know, I went for what I was telling you guys, but however, you know, 
my colors and her colors that she had was kind of different. Like I know that she used like a blue and mixed it in with pink and got like the purple and all of that stuff. So I pretty much tried to do the same thing, but my colors are different from hers. So yeah. I need to get whatever palette sis using, period. But I still like the way my look actually came out. Now, I am going in with this uh, Makeup Revolution Concealer, and it is in the shade Halo. And I just went and carved out the crease. Um, you know, this is my first time ever doing like a double cut crease and I feel like I did pretty good for my first time and I will be doing more of these because, you know, your girl got the hang of how it's supposed to go. I didn't watch the whole bunch of tutorials and yeah, I'm kind of liking these double cut creases. Now this pigment from Mayo Cosmetics, it is patchy you guys but you can work with it you just have to pack it and your concealer has to be wet now it will crack if your concealer is drying like you gotta use wet concealer with this so it can like you know look smooth and look together or else it will be cracking and looking patchy and you know, all of that okay you gotta use a really good concealer so yeah I feel like mine's came out pretty good. I went in with that purple shade from that 25L. And then I'm going to take this glitter in the shade Crystal Breeze, I think, from uh, Shop Miss A. And uh, it was a dollar. So, yeah, y'all know everything at Shop Miss A is a dollar. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in with this darker purple and put that, like, on the outer. Y'all know how I like them outer edges to be darker. And then we're going to go in with this Black Radiance Liquid Liner that I always use. I love it, you guys. It's just so smooth. And it can apply over glitter and I look clunky, period. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm going to make sure I just put these lashes on for pastel lashes. This is in the shade Materialistic. And I will leave my code on the screen also down below for you guys. Um, yeah, I went in with this Black Radiance um, Mascara. And then I'm going to go in and just clean up with this um, tan from the Erase, tan from the Age Rewind uh concealer from maybelline i had that all wrong so i'm gonna go in with this puns i did however moisturize my face and do skin prep before but you know when all these pigments and all these eyeshadows started falling out and stuff like that yeah your girl kept wiping it off so yeah my skin you know it get dry once you wipe all the moisture off i went in and just did like a uh color correcting or whatever you know just to make sure everything is all even out and then i'm going to go in with my foundation the foundation that i will be using today will be the julius place foundation period so i like this foundation for like heavy looks so i just feel like it's just very full coverage like sis i was needing it today and i'm just using these same shades that i um already applied on my lids and i'm just going to be showing you guys that If you have already made it to this far on the video, drop them pink hearts, sis, down below so I can see who be watching you, sis, for real, okay? And I can make sure I support you guys who are supporting my channel, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to just go in with this 12 concealer from the shade, I mean... <laughs> I'm going to just go in with the shade 12 from the Juvia's Place Concealer, okay? And then I'm going to just go ahead and just highlight all the parts that I highlight. And then, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and make sure I blend it out real smooth. like. And then y'all going to see me go in with this setting powder. The setting powder that I will be using today will be Sasha Buttercup. And I have not used this in a while. It's an oldie but goodie. If you guys have been watching my channel from when I first started, y'all know I used to always use that. But yeah, I just love this one too. But I haven't been using it as much because I found like a cheaper and my one that I actually like, which is the Airspun. And it don't leave your face like flashback. I mean, this don't either, but you got to know how to work with it, okay? So yeah, you just going to make sure you just pack it in. I just pat it in or whatever. I said pack it, but you're going to make sure you pat it in. Um, I don't want to set it too much. Like, I left some of it on, on some places that really needed it. But, yeah, I'm going to just go right away and just dust it off with that L'Oreal 
true match powder okay and i love this powder because it's like spot on my real color on my face or whatever so it like really makes my uh makeup like really really smooth and we're gonna really bring this face back to life you guys because this face is kind of looking kind of <laughs> you know it's looking kind of yellowy and that's kind of why i have not been using that sasha buttercup because it does do that but you can always you know work with it you just gotta know how to work with it uh, i'm gonna go in with this black radiance um concert kit concert palette and i know i love this and i'm using a medium to dark and then i'm gonna go in with that dark shade and just do all the contour that i like to do and then y'all see me sharpen it up with this black opal and this is in medium from black opal and i will be going in with two bronzers today which is a city bronzer and a physician's formula bronzer and i'm gonna put the physicians on first and then i'm gonna go over it with the um city bronzer and so i just want to you know have this face looking snatched with these eyes today okay and so yeah that's pretty much what you're gonna be seeing your girl do So it's time for some blush. I'm gonna go in with this 24G palette. I like to use this burnt orange shade and I just gonna take that and you know, put it all up on there. I really need to get a shade, a blush shade, this color outside of this palette. But yeah, I just really like this inside this palette. I'm going in with the NYX setting spray and I'm just gonna go ahead and set it in and I'm gonna tap it in with a beauty blender. So next I'm gonna go in with the highlight and I'm gonna spray my brush with the same setting spray and I'm going with that middle highlighter shade out of this palette and then I'm just gonna you know go ahead and bronze it on up I said bronze it on up I can't talk today y'all I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this face on up and as always I always go back in and like um you know blend everything together with my foundation brush no product added i'm gonna go in with this gingerbread lip pencil from ruby kisses i love this pencil you guys it just looks so good on the lips okay so next you guys i'm gonna go in with the black radiance lipstick it is the cream matte lipstick i'm not sure of the color but i will leave it down below um it's like once you take the wrapper off y'all know the color so yeah anyways i'm gonna go in with this maybelline um lip gloss and it's in the shade moonlight metal and i'm gonna put that on and that's it so this is the look you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this look as i showed y'all in the video and what i told y'all earlier like she didn't have like a lid color but i just went ahead and did my own thing and so yeah i just call this like barbie you know this giving me barbie vibes like <laughs> Come on, like, sis, it's giving me real Barbie vibes. As you can tell, it was a struggle to do some of these shadows together. Like, I didn't know, like, you know, it was like trial and error here. But I feel like it all came together and looked all good. So the the neon pigment, it was kind of hard to use, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was like because of what I'm trying to do with it or what or the concealer I use but yeah I'm gonna try it with a different concealer for you guys and I'm gonna test it out some more because um yeah it kind of was like patchy like it was kind of patchy but that color is showing up now I had to pack it pack it pack it to get the color you know to pop out but I like the way this look came out you guys I will be uploading pictures on my social network so you can follow me on all of my social networks boo right there right there go ahead and make sure you go ahead and subscribe to your girl's channel if you are new and give this video a big old thumbs up if you like this video comment your thoughts down below as always and i'll see you guys in the next one